Hello and welcome back to Learning English Pro. The Winter Olympics 2022 will be held in China and it includes 15 different disciplines in seven sports. In this video, I will outline the different disciplines in English. Please ensure to check out the word list at the end of the video and in the description below, which covers the entire glossary in today's lesson. The Olympics will be held in the city of Beijing and begin on the 4th of February 2022. The first discipline we will look at is the biathlon, which includes two different sports. Repeat after me, biathlon. It includes the sports of cross-country skiing, along with rifle shooting. Let's move on to our next discipline, which is the bobsleigh. This sport involves timed runs down a narrow, twisting ice track. The track is run usually by teams of two or four people. The vehicle used is called a bobsled. Another type of bobsledding is a discipline known as the skeleton. The skeleton is a sport in which a person rides a small sled down a frozen track while lying face down and head first. Our next sport is luge. Repeat after me, luge. Luge racers either go solo or work in teams of two. And unlike the bobsleigh, a luge racer has much less protection. Let's move on to a very different type of sport, curling. Repeat after me, curling. In curling, players slide stones on a sheet of ice towards a target area. There are two teams of four players. This game is similar to bowls and the purpose is to accumulate the highest score for a game. Stones closest to the central target get higher points. Moving on, the sport of ice hockey is also played on a sheet of ice. Repeat after me, ice hockey. A popular part of the Winter Olympics is figure skating. Repeat after me, figure skating. This sport can be contested amongst individuals, pairs or groups. Disciplines in figure skating include men's and ladies singles, pairs, ice dancing and synchronized skating. Another type of skating in the Olympics is speed skating. This is racing on ice and for shorter distances, we have short track speed skating. Let's move on to different types of disciplines relating to the sport of skiing. And first up, we have alpine skiing. Here, alpine is an adjective describing something relating to high mountains. This type of skiing race is also known as downhill skiing. Another type of skiing race, which is usually over a longer and flatter course, is cross-country skiing. Our next type of skiing is ski jumping. This sport involves speeding down a jumping ramp and performing an aerial style. We also have the discipline called Nordic Combined, which involves the two disciplines of cross-country skiing and jump skiing. One of the newer Winter Olympic sports is snowboarding. It has featured at the Winter Olympics since 1998. Our next discipline is known as freestyle skiing. This type of competitive skiing can consist of a skier performing aerial flips and spins and can include skiers sliding rails and boxes on their skis. And it can be skied in skis or on a snowboard. If you want to revise any of the words covered in today's lesson, make sure to check out the word list in the description below. And that brings us to the end of our English lesson on the Winter Olympics. Are you a big fan of the Winter Olympics? Let me know your favourite sport in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're looking for more English vocabulary, there's really no better place on YouTube than my English channel, Learning English Pro. There you'll find a massive selection of English lessons on vocabulary, grammar and much, much more. And if you can't find the lesson you're looking for, let me know in the comments and I'll try my very best to make one especially for you. 
Coming up on screen are some video suggestions just for you, along with the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel, so make sure to hit that to stay updated on all my latest lessons. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day, and remember, keep learning English like a pro.